Hello friends, welcome back, Márcio Marinho here. This is the channel where we talk about everything related to software engineering, programming, cloud computing, and technology in general. Today, I'm very excited because I'm bringing a brand new tutorial for you guys about Java lists. But before deep diving on our tutorial, I have an announcement to make. I have a link on the description below about my course. It's Java from zero to hero. In this course, I'm gonna teach you from the basics to more complex and advanced concepts in the Java language. So the course is on pre-sale. Do not miss this offer. Getting back to the tutorial now, let's discuss about Java lists. So how are lists done in Java? Lists are simply an ordered collection of items. Let's say we have a grocery shopping list that we take to the supermarket. So once we pick an item, we just cross something in there. This is one example of list. Another example is a list of most common names. We can have names for boys and girls, and then we can list all names that are common for boys and girls. Lists in Java, they are implemented by many classes, but the most important ones are array lists and linked lists, and they both implement a list interface. This interface is a markup, or it has all the methods that both classes will implement. The net result is both classes will have all methods described on the list interface, and they will have the same behavior, but with a big difference, because the implementation, the internals of each class are different. And that is what we are going to see right now. So let's simply dive here in our example. I have here my application and I'm going to create a new array list of strings. I will have a fruits array list. So I'm gonna store all my fruits here because I'm gonna shop them and new array list. First tip is never ever forget to use the typed array or the generic type. Always type your collections. In this case, we're going to have a, an array list of strings. And likewise, I'm also gonna create a linked list of strings. Maybe my fruits linked list and new linked list. As I said before, they both have the same methods. Let me start filling in the array list here. Fruits array list dot add. I'm gonna add a new item here. I'm adding a new banana. And don't forget that all the index are zero based. So they all starts with zero. I'm gonna add a few other items here on my array list. And there we go. I have all of these items here. I have banana, I have a pear, avocado, red grapes, and papaya. So pretty neat. I can add the same uh, set of values to my linked list. Let me add them right now. And there we go. So I have here my array list and my linked list. Now I'm gonna show you guys the similarities and differences between them. Let's say I want to print avocado. I know that the index is number two here and that's what I'm gonna do. System out.print ln. Now I'm gonna simply format here a string uh, from array list and I'm gonna pass here the value. It's gonna be formatting here and say fruits array list dot get item number two. And it should give me avocado. And let's give it a try and run our application. So there we go, we have avocado here. As I said before, we have the same methods for both classes because they both implement the list interface. I can print from the linked list as well. It's gonna be from fruits linked list and that's gonna be from linked list. They all have the same method, so I can get from a desired position. And there we go, we got it, okay, from both lists. Now, the differences here is that an array list is a dynamic array, which means we have a contiguous block of memory that is predefined with a prefixed size, and that block cannot change. As the example here, we have this array here with five items, so index zero, one, two, three, and four, and we also have a number one, two, three, four, and five. So these are the values. If I want to add a new element here, what I need to do is to create a new array with this length plus one, add all the previous elements to the new array, and then add my item there. So this is one big difference from array list to linked list. As for a linked list, it is a data structure that is made of nodes. A linked list is a set of nodes. Each node holds a value, as you guys can see on this example here. We have this linked list here, and Java implements linked list as doubly linked lists, which means each 
each node has a pointer to the next node and also every single node has a pointer to the previous node. And two special nodes are the head and the tail. Head is where the linked list starts and tail where the linked list finishes. So in order to print that number, that item number two, for example, we have to go through every single item until we reach that element and then we can retrieve that element and print. That makes a lot of difference in performance because on the array list or arrays, we can simply go straight to that index. And for linked lists, the code needs to go one by one until it reaches that point. And that is a big difference in, in performance. Let's say we have a huge list. That's going to make a lot of difference whenever we have to go one by one and whenever we can access an item straight via their address. Another interesting method here, it's to add. We can add an item here and replace the position on both array list and linked list. Let me add another fruit to the array list. And I'm gonna add at the position that avocado is right now. So that's position number two. And I'm gonna add orange here. I'm gonna do the exactly same thing for the linked list. And the result is gonna be exactly the same. We are simply replacing or adding one element at that position. Let me run again, and there we go. We just added orange to the position number two. Now, from the implementation point of view, as the array list, again, we have this array, which is internal to the data structure. What's gonna happen is Java will create a new array, copy the old elements, as we can see here on the code snippet here. It's gonna create a new array, then it's gonna copy all the elements, and lastly, it's gonna add the new element we just asked the add method to add on that position. As for a linked list, that is easier because for the linked list, uh, we only have to go through all the elements until the point we want to replace and then unlink, add the new element and link them back together. So it's a faster operation. And it's gonna happen for all the other methods. So this is the basic um, difference between them. All the other methods, for example, remove. If you say remove dot remove and we can give an index let's say index number zero it's gonna remove the first item and likewise i can we can do the same thing for the linked list so we simply gonna remove the first item for the array list it needs to kind of shuffle things around because it's a contiguous block of memory needs to get rid of the first element, then shifts everything around. And for a linked list, as we are removing the first element, it's gonna detect that this is the head, simply gonna remove the head and give the pointer to the next element. That's extremely easy, okay? My summary here is when to use one or the other. The general guideline is if your data is not gonna change or it's not gonna change that often and you need random access or direct access to an element, array list is your best friend. But on the other hand, if if your data keeps changing and you need to insert and remove things from the middle of your list or even the beginning or the end. So if your data keeps changing, probably a linked list is your best bet. Okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Please do not forget to click the like button, also subscribe and also click that beautiful notification bell. So you never ever miss one of my videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.